Rick. <laughs> and I'm here because chicks dig Mad TV. <laughs> And I'm not just talking about the fine ladies here in our audience. <laughs> I'm also talking about the chicks at home. Ow. So, fellas, if you're there watching this show with your lady, you are sitting on a gold mine of intercourse. <laughs> I mean, do you have any idea how hot chicks get watching this show? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Take it from Rick. That smell is her melting her way right through your couch. <clears throat> and the reason the chicks get so hot, one word. Stewart. Boys, believe you me, when your babe sees that nutty little kid stripped down to his underpants, it's all over. She's gonna slide right off the couch. And my advice to you is be waiting for her when she lands. <laughs> Fellas, here's the gospel according to Rick. Book one. Chapter seven. <laughs> you might want to move in close for this one. Oh, uh, that's maybe a little too close. <laughs> All right, I can live with it. <clears throat> but, The gospel according to Rick says, never let your lady down. But if it happens, don't let her back up until she's satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy the show. I know I'm gonna. writers of the 1999 television season I have one piece of advice for you no matter what the networks tell you there are no blacks on the TV screen none oh they're color TVs and black people who got them but you don't want a TV you want a job and there are no blacks on the TV screen if a network tells you your show needs to be more diverse, that means they're hiring more white people. Friends is a fantasy. They live in a world where you could go around New York City for five years and not run into a single black person. Not one. Way to go, Giuliani. Stop eating fried chicken. If you're a black midget actor, be prepared to call your white co-stars Mommy and Daddy. Now, some of the shows this season may offend you, and most of the shows will not apply to you. But no matter what the networks tell you, there are no blacks on the TV screen. Ain't 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 no blacks on the TV screen. A show with one black character
character hires you for flavor. You are not a writer. Oh, you get paid. But your opinion doesn't count unless it's a question of slang. Will Smith is not hip-hop. Eminem is, though. If your agent doesn't call after two weeks, Chris Tucker's got the job. Why do they put all the black shows on the same night? Like black folks are only home on Thursday. Prime time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. White agents. Just because you have a black client doesn't mean you have to complicate the handshake. And now, a network breakdown for everybody. ABC. Anything but color. NBC. Nothing but Caucasians. CBS. Colorless broadcast system. UPN. Underpaid Negroes. WB, we're the brothers. Now, Fox got a lot of black people, except they're all on cops. Now, some of the shows this season may offend you, but no matter what the networks tell you, there are no blacks on the TV screen. Ain't no blacks on the TV screen. Ain't no blacks on the TV screen. Positively, absolutely, ain't no blacks on the TV screen. Except Chris, HBO, y'all, HBO, y'all, yeah, yeah. HBO, y'all, HBO, y'all. HBO, y'all, ain't no blacks on the TV screen. Yeah, yeah, man. Actually, Mr. President, your seat is over here. I, I think I'm fine and comfortable right here, Bill. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the program. You know, uh, tonight, I'd like to talk about an issue that's become uh, rather pervasive in the mail we've received. Uh, a lot of people say that it seems like I hate women. <laughs> and that is simply not true. Whores are women. <laughs> and I love whores. <laughs> Why don't we meet our panel? They say she's a pop star, but I like to call her a pop tart. Please say hello to Britney Spears. How you doing? Thank you for coming, Mrs. Spears. Have a seat, sweetie. Now, People say that uh, my next guest has redefined comedy, and uh, I would have to agree because her stand-up act sure ain't about being funny. <laughs> Welcome out, Janine Garofalo. <laughs> Thank you. Now, my next guest, uh, I have to say, I really identify with because, like me, he had to get famous before anybody would go down on him. <laughs> the President of the United States, Bill Clinton. Uh, actually, Mr. President, your seat is over here. I, I think I'm fine and comfortable right here, Bill, but thanks. <laughs> okay. Now, my final guest is an actor named Chris Burke. But audiences remember him best as the mentally challenged kid on Life Goes On. <laughs> Say hello to Corky. Go sit down, Corky. Like, go like sit down. Hug. I like to hug. Now, one of the hot topics in Washington is how the popular culture is corrupting our kids. 
Now, as the reigning and most influential teen icon here today, Brittany, do you agree or disagree? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? You used a lot of SAT words in a row. <laughs> okay. What I mean is, are your songs too dirty for kids? No. Uh, I just like to have good, clean fun. I bet you do. <laughs> okay, she's 17. All right, thanks, buddy. <laughs> That song. What's the name of that song that you sang? Oh, it's a uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. If I hit you, will you promise to never sing that song again? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I take it you don't like the song, Corky. It's Prius, and your nose looks like a flaccid penis. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I think my song has a good sound. Compared to what? A wet fart from a fat man's ass? <laughs> oh, Val! Why are you laughing? Oh, uh, you gotta love a good fart joke, honey. <laughs> Especially if you're white trash, huh, Mr. President? <laughs> okay. Now, Janine, you're a woman, but, uh... I'm going to include you in the conversation anyway. Uh, now, you have made a conscious effort not to exploit your sexuality. That's right. You know, forget it, though. In Hollywood, it's such a boys' club, you know? I mean, they just, they just want blonde hair and big breasts, and that's it, you know? <laughs> Ms. Garofalo, I mean, what's wrong with blonde hair and big breasts? Not a damn thing, sweetie. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I voted for you, Mr. President, because I thought you'd be good for women's rights. Well, now, now, hold on a second. Why are you so interested in women's issues there, fella? <laughs> Look, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious. You completely let us women down. I mean, you even perjured yourself in a sexual harassment suit. Well, now, now hold on a second there, guy. I, I don't know <laughs> if what I did met the, met the legal definition of perjury. Mm. Of course it was perjury, Mr. President. Even I know that, and I'm retarded. <laughs> well, you sure are, Corky. You sure are. It's Fred. I'm Fritz. sorry. Janine, now, you had a movie out this summer. Uh, yeah, it was uh, starring Hank Azaria, uh, Greg Kinnear, and myself. What was it called, the... Lucky Club. <laughs> Britney Spears, what's next for you? Well, my pimps, I mean my parents, <laughs> would like to get me into movies. Oh, that's great. This is great. Now I'm going to have to work even harder. Thank you very much. You know, I am so intelligent, I am so talented, and completely underappreciated. I barely cleared a million dollars last year. Yeah. Somebody please feel sorry for me. <laughs> Damn, bitch, are you always on the rag? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's watch the language there, Corky. It's Crit! Crit! You call me Corky one more time, I will kill you. <laughs> Now, 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 simple one. You don't want to do that. You might end up in jail. Not if I get on the window stand and lie my ass off like you did. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of a joke. These two women walking to a car. And the bartender says, get the hell out. Can I get some extra moustache? Sure thing. Hi, welcome to Wiener on a Stick. My name's Champagne. How may I help you? Hmm, let's see. 
Wiener on a stick, french fries, and lemonade sounds good. Coming right up. Oh, and could I get some extra moustard? Moustard, huh? Sure thing. Scumbag! Champagne, what happened? She was a 704. International Jewel Thief. Aaron Spelling, in association with Lifetime, the network for women, presents... Champagne. Autumn. Three beautiful wiener servers. Part-time mall workers, full-time crime fighters. The Stick Jets. Tonight's episode, Super Size Spot. Sounds like the boss needs us. Stick chicks. Hey, Dasher. Here's your assignment. Seems there's a Russian espionage ring across the food court at the Orange Julieta. You know, I conjecture that something was amiss over there. That's right. The place is filled with foreigners. Yeah, and not the Mexican kind. Echo. 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 Your assignment is to go undercover and crack the case. Anything for you, boss. Oh, and girls, there's just one more thing before you go. Yeah? Change the grease in the fryer later. <laughs> okay, so one hot dog and a lemon... Orange Julieta coming right up. Echo, don't blow our cover. Sorry, Champagne. Janet, here comes the assistant manager. Stick chicks, I sense trouble. The counters are a mess. The ketchup bottles need cleaned. Also, to fill rat traps. With rats? Echo. 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 <laughs> Excuse me. I have some customers to wait on. <laughs> yep. He's definitely a spy. How can you tell? No one at the food court waits on customers at tables. Wow, Champagne. I guess that's why you're the smart one. <laughs> no, Echo. I'm the pretty one. I'm the smart one. Oh, right. I guess I'm the lovable goof. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Okay, ladies, act natural. Champagne, I have something I would like to show you over here by the grill. Look at this dirt. It's like dirty undercover American agents. <laughs> safe from nuclear war. Thanks, Dasher. There's just one more thing. Yeah? These fries are cold. <laughs> 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 
Star Wars uh, is a religion. No, it's just a movie. Uh, actually, I, w I wasn't asking you. From Studio 3B in Rockefeller Center, here is Jane Pollock. This summer, Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, grossed over $400 million, despite serious allegations that many of its supporting characters are based on racial stereotypes. Who is the man behind this controversial box office bonanza? His name is George Lucas. Chances are you've never heard of him. The Dateline was fortunate to coax this reclusive auteur into this rare conversation. I met George Lucas at the hub of his creative empire, the sprawling Skywalker Ranch, where he was hard at work on the next installment of the Star Wars saga. I first asked George to explain the appeal of the Star Wars films, and he didn't stop talking for the next six and a half hours. My uh, films tap into a mythology that I think uh, we all uh, recognize, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, does that mean that, uh, that Star Wars uh, is a religion? No, it's just a movie. Uh, actually, I, w I wasn't asking you there. I wasn't asking you. Yes, yes it does. It is, it is a religion, but uh, does that make me a god? No. It... <laughs> Again, uh, not asking you. <laughs> I, uh, I got something on the East Lawn that you should see. You want to see it? <laughs> Here we go. What do you think of that? Some African-American groups have accused you of creating a, a, a modern-day step-and-fetch-it with the character of Jar Jar Binks. How, how do you respond to that? Do you want onions on that? No! I want a double cheddar melt with sausage sauce and no onions! No strawberry seeds! Just do you want it right! Would you be careful, you Jar son of a bitch! Right. I don't know why all those ethnics got upset with uh, that Jar Jar, but <laughs> we're gonna have all new characters in episode two. You wanna see some of them? I guess. But you know what? If, if you want them fries, why, why don't you just order them? Why don't you just order them? Instead of, no, 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 don't put it back. Don't put it back, have it. Uh, no, eat it now. Have a whole, have a whole damn thing. Here. There you go, fatty. So it was back to Skywalker Ranch to meet the oh. new character. Move that to the garbage can. What? So we can get the car through. Come on, you're riding shotgun. Why do I have to do it? Because I'm driving. Come on, this isn't a free ride. Please, I gotta move the car. Some kind of a joke? Oh, no, 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 no! This is a, this is a distant relative of Jar Jar Binks, Aunt Jar Jar Mima. So, where the hell are we now? Well, this is my office where I create. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a digital playground where I use the, the yeah. latest technology to channel the mm. power of my imagination. Oh, sure you do, yeah. <laughs> Do you use this to help jog ideas and your creativity? That wasn't your turn. Now I'm gonna take your turn. See? How does that feel, Jane Polly? Feels, feels great. Look, I'm taking your turn again. <laughs> Maybe we should stop. Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! 
just leave. Just leave. See, God, fine. You know, if you want to be like that, just go. No, now we're not leaving. Oh! You make me so mad, Jane Pauly! As I left Skywalker Ranch, I reflected on my visit with George Lucas. And I couldn't help but think of the words of Jar Jar Binks from The Phantom Menace. Gungans no like them outsiders. They send bomb bad. Bomb bad indeed. Yes! I heard you! Ah, uh, gosh, it's good to have you back from college, son. Oh, thanks, Dad. It's good to be home. You know, I love school and everything. It's just, uh, I still get homesick. Plus, <laughs> I gotta declare this major, and it's just... Yeah, I know, son. Well, you know, we're always here for you. Thanks, you know Dad. That. Hey, want to shoot a little hoop? Um, why don't we just talk first? You know, Dad, I've been really thinking about engineering. Come on! Let's play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, uh, no thanks, Dad. I'll tell you what. Come on, first 11. Win by two. Huh? Okay, but what about your hip? Come on! We never get to play anymore. Besides, I gotta show my son his old man can still beat him, huh? <laughs> okay, but uh, I just don't want to hurt your hip. Don't treat me like I'm old. I'm not old. Okay, fine, Dad. You're not old. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, my God, Dad! Oh, 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 Christmas God. Oh, okay. Let's play. Okay, look, Dad, I really think I ought to call a doctor. God, no, doctor. Just scrape my knee a little bit. I'm not a little girl. And I'm not old. Okay, Dad, you're not old. All right, here we go. Taking it to the hole. Look, Dad, Don't fake just... you out. Whoa! Hey! Oh! oh. Okay, that's it. I'm calling an ambulance. Oh, the hell you are. Give me that. <laughs> Dad, that's it. I'm not doing this. Oh, fine. Go ahead. Go cry to mama, fat boy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You heard me. Fat boy. That's all you are, just fat. And a mistake. You nothing but a big, fat mistake. First to 11? Yeah, that's right, you son bitch. <laughs> All right, let's do this. You check out. <laughs> See, there, you happy now? Damn right I'm happy. Because I'm about to kick your fat ass. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, my hip! Look, Dad, don't... <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Dad, that's it. I'm going to go get an ambulance. No! Don't you move, you little weasel! I'm about to kick your fat mistake butt! <laughs> ah! Bring it on! Oh, Dad, look, this is ridiculous. Come on! Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Look, Dad, slam dunk! Oh! Ah! Ah! The arm! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Okay, now I finally broke a sweat. Here we go. Yeah, right, Pop. You ain't old. I'm about to kick your fat mistake butt. Oh! Well, let me tell you something, little Mr. Free Pants. He started with me first, he gonna finish with me first. And if you don't like it, let me be the first to say to you. No, 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 I'm telling you, Sonia, orange and purple look good. <laughs> oh, no, she not wearing my colors. That means I gotta find another vinyl outfit to wear to her wedding. <laughs> Girl, I gotta go. Can I help you find anything? Oh, no, thanks. I'm just browsing. <laughs> no, our, our false shipment just came in today. Oh, that's, that's great, but I'm just browsing. We have great deals on shirts. I said I'm just browsing, okay? Why can't you let us sister get our brows on? Oh, look, my business. Well, uh, 
If you need anything at all, my name is Scott. And my name is Bonifa Latifa Halifa Sharifa Jackson, Scott. And you need to let us sister browse. Okay. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> oh, oh, this is bad. I need a. I need a medium. Scott! Yo, Scott! Come here! Yeah, what can I do for you? Okay, I'm going to a wedding. Right. And I love this blue vinyl outfit. Right. Well, see, I need a medium, and all y'all got is, is a large. Oh, you know? you know, for vinyl outfits, that's that's about it. Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown were here this weekend. They cleaned the out. <laughs> see, I told Sonya they be stealing my stuff. That's all right. I, I, that's all right. Well, that's hey, all right. Uh, you know, you're a beautiful woman. I'm sure we can find something for you here. Oh, Sky, you so nice. <laughs> well, you know, thanks. I aim to please. And I bet you can. <laughs> Big tall drink of water. <laughs> oh, oh, I like this. I like this. Good choice. Why don't you try it on? Mm, I think I will. Wanna watch? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Excuse me, do you have capri pants? Oh, yes, we sure do. Great. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, Scott, what you doing? Oh, I was just helping another customer real quick. Real quick? <laughs> Am I done with you yet, Scott? Oh, well... I mean, damn, can't you let a sister get her purchase to the car before you start helping somebody real quick? No, she, she just... <laughs> just, <laughs> just <laughs> <another big kid. laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I mean, if you started with her first, you know, I'll let you finish. Oh, well, oh, the... oh, that's so sweet of you. You're going to let him finish with me first. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, little Mr. Pre-Pants. He started with me first. He's going to finish with oh, me first. Oh, oh. And if you don't like it, let me be the first to say too bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, you're right. I I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Yeah, I'll wait. Oh, thank you. I'm going to just be a minute. Oh, Scott. You like the way this looks? Oh, yeah. I can tell already you're going to look great in that. You're going to be stopping traffic. You better stop it. <laughs> well, it's true. Well, and I don't need to try it on. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> oh, you know what else would look great on you? Is this. This is Egyptian silk. It's one of her hottest items, and I think it's very you. Okay. Let me get this straight. <laughs> you think it's very me. Yeah. So you think I should get it, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, Mr. Fashion Tips. What makes you think I need you to dress me? Shoot, oh, I dress well, my own well, damn self, and I'm gonna keep dressing well, myself till I can't dress myself no more. Okay. And besides, what makes you think I want a blouse from Egypt? Do I look like I ride a camel to work? You got live in a pyramid? Just because I'm black don't mean I'm never Tay Day. You know what? I'm sorry. I'll just, I'm going to put this right back oh, no, where no, I no, found it. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I like it. <laughs> oh, but you got this in a balloon? Well, uh, you Excuse know what? I'm, I'm afraid you're going to just not, not now. I, 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 why are you yelling at her? I'm not yelling yes, at her. Yes, you were. You get on nasty and I'm yelling. Not, I'm not getting yes, nasty. Yes, you were. Yes, yes, I'm not yelling okay, at her. Okay, so well, why are you yelling at me now? I'm what not yelling at her. What did I do? What did I do? You yelling at me? You yelling at her? What did she do? I'm not. What did she do? What did she do? Now you yelling at both of us. Now you yelling at both of us. What did we do? What did we do? Ask him. Ask Ask him. What did I do? Ask him. What did we do? What did we do? You should be on my side, Capri Pants. What did we do? What did I do? Ain't no side. Ain't no side. You the wrong one. Scott, you the wrong one. Okay, Scott. You the wrong one. Scott, why, Scott, Scott, why are you yelling at the customers? I'm not yelling at anybody. And she came in here and she wanted a jumpsuit for a wedding, and then I showed her the, the silk thing, and she's not an Egyptian, and she's giving me all okay, kinds okay, of hell. Okay, okay, Scott, we have a store policy here. Scott, take a break. Bye. Ma'am, I'm sorry about that. Look, I'll be more than happy to help you. Oh, no, you won't, because y'all are crazy. Your young employees be just snapping on you. Let me tell you something. He just mad because he sell ladies' clothes. That's all. Girl, let me tell you something. We got to get out of here because I know a store where I can get you some good leather oh, capri pants. No, really. Yeah, you know I, I just don't argue with me. You know what? I hope you got lots of money. Ooh, girl, we're going to have fun. It's right down here. Shouldn't have come in the first place. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Wanna have-
have some fun? <laughs> then get out of your snit and grab a chair and sit. Cause Fishex got a brand new game that you just gotta get. Just pull a card that's pink and tell them what you think. You're a lousy lay, and your sister's even worse. And then you let them have it if you really think it stinks. <laughs> now me. If your penis were any smaller, you'd be the wife. Yes, it's Slap Happy, a fun new game for the whole darn family. My turn, my turn. I'm ashamed to call myself your father. <laughs> this one's perfect for Grandpa. Grandpa, you smell like cat pee. <laughs> Pull the slap happy card and all bets are off. Simply set the timer and you've got five minutes to slap each other silly. <laughs> The creators of Punch in the Face and Serial Killer. Thank you all. Thank you all very much for coming. And I'd just like to say that it is uh, a pleasure to work with such a talented cast. They are the most talented cast performing sketch comedy on this network in this time slot. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. A Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Accurate enough for us. And no matter what the greatest tyrants in the world, the greatest terrorists in the world, George W. Bush says. So really, George Bush is the world's greatest terrorist. Well, that's going to be news to Osama bin Laden. He's kind of got the track record and the mug from his grandchildren to prove it. Tonight at 11 on Comedy Central. Then at 11.30, stay tuned for the Colbert Report. I know I make you nauseous. Here's a Tums with Hug Me written on it. Before Valentine's Day rears its ugly head, you get to have a night out with the guys. Jim Gaffigan, Bill Engvall, and Christopher Titus in one night of stand-up. Guys Night Out, Saturday at 7. I'm just a guy.